Hello, Freakazoids, Misfits, <laughs> and whoever else is out there. But, uh, you know, we're a family of freaks here, so you got to be one of those. Hey, look at that. It's Nenny C. Right at the outset. My God, two shows in a row? I feel like a, uh, I'm important now. Nenny C is here two nights in a row. Wow. Unreal. Yeah, so I've been I've been telling you guys I've been trying to working on this, um, you know, something I'm trying to find in the case, and uh, you know, it was weird because we tried to find this. Basically, well, I'll just tell you what what we were what we were looking for. Okay, uh, I don't know why Blue just barked there, but the. A while back, I mentioned to you guys that we were looking for blue. Come on, calm down, blue. <laughs> Blue's gonna make the suspense here. Right there, blue. Get in, get in there. Oh, I guess you're not gonna be on camera. His camera's not working. Uh, but a while back, we were looking for a satellite image from around, you know, on the date of February thirteenth, two and uh, we only could find February 17th, 2013. And when I say we, uh, a friend of mine, Woods Girl, that you see in the chat every once in a while, uh, she is the one that, I mean, I, I'd used the site before for other things, but she made me aware of it for looking up satellite imagery. and. You know, she's the one that found the site, and we were like, okay, wow. Oh, shoot, it was just February 17th, okay? But she went on there, and she noticed that <clears throat> when you type in, do the query, there was 43 out of 47 satellites. So then she clicked on, you know, view all, and lo and behold, everybody, there was a February 13th, 2017 a satellite image of Delphi okay so then we're just like okay what time of the day is this satellite image you know just hoping I was really hoping for uh, 2 230 right something like that and so anyways we got a hold of the we looked at looked at looked at it and I noticed that the shadows Basically, if you look at, uh, let me show you this right. This is Google Earth that we're about to look at here. So on the sample image that they gave us, which, by the way, isn't uh, way better than the final, see how there's the shadows are north like that on the north side of the silos right there? So it was very similar to that. So using my... 3D animation program, 3D Studio Max, I was able to, um, you know, click on the actual sun system here, and then over here on the right, you can see it's at 420, but look how the, the sun is pointed, and that means that can't be the way the sun was in that image. It has to be facing exactly north, right? It has to be facing straight up, but see how the camera, the, the sun, I mean, is angled at like this? Okay, so what I did was I just kind of clicked around, and then I realized, okay, look at that. That's 1 o'clock right there. That's very close to being north. And then I kept going like this, and then I realized, uh, see, that's 101. And then I, I, I kind of pick, I actually picked a time. I mean, you're not going to believe this, but I literally said, I think it's 1258. Just based on how the shadow was a little bit slightly left of north in the actual satellite image. And you can see right over here, it says um, it's now 1 o'clock right on the dot. And if I go to 12, then let me put in 58 here. See, now that looks exactly how I was seeing it on the satellite image and then we just got the satellite image back last night finally I, I paid four hundred and fifty dollars to get it uh, Cairo Cairo Al-Qadir he came 
up and said, hey, great, I'll, you know, if you believe in this thing, yeah, you know, if you think it's worthwhile, I, I totally think it's a worthwhile thing to get. And he spent, he gave me 200, all right? So that's pretty amazing. So we got, uh, we put the money out there, got it. He said, well, you, you know, the company said they'd charge another 160 to color it, but I, I, I kind of know how to do that anyways using, um, I mean, you can do it in Photoshop, but Lightroom, the image is 133, uh, oh, excuse me, 333 megabytes. Absolutely massive. And there's Woods Girl right there that I just told you guys about a few minutes ago, but she must have missed that because she just showed up. So she's like uh, one of those, um, what do you call it? Scientific nerds. <laughs> All right, doesn't look like one, but yeah, the uh, she is is a real deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, so she actually knew where to go look, and we'd looked there before, and we found an image from February 13th, <laughs> 2017. Uh, absolutely unbelievable. And I actually call uh, doesn't call. I texted. Um, uh, Sergeant Holman, and he said, "Oh yeah, well send send it over." I th but he said he thinks they have that one already. See, and that gave me hope that they're actually doing sort of the way out there stuff. You know, the stuff that you're thinking, "Okay, gosh, is there an actual satellite image?" So they might have this same image, but it's not out in the public. And I um, I was w hoping that it was at two thirty, and I was also hoping the image was clear. Okay, it's pretty clear. Like, I mean, you can see the area, and you can even see the CPS building. And, of course, what would you want to see at around maybe 1 o'clock? You're hoping maybe the vehicle's parked at the CPS building. So here is the actual satellite image from this site that actually ha can contact a repository and seems to be able to get almost anything. So that's what it looks like originally. It's 333 um, megabytes, so it has a lot of data. Uh, first, though, let me take a look at the... Uh, actually, let me open up uh, the metadata. So this is actual metadata, everybody. This is the metadata right here of this large image. They actually send it to you in a XML file. And if you look right here, look at this. Fi uh, this says 1758, which is 558. However, it's using UTS code minus 5 on the... Um, first, I thought it was accurate because I was like, God, it's dark. Look how dark it is. So, wow, it's already dark outside, but that's not the tr truth. It's 5 hours UTC code with no daylight savings time. So you subtract that, and it comes to exactly 1258. And I'm not making it up. I actually said 1258 was my guess when looking at the original image on the site. Okay, so it's now this is all the metadata. I'll scroll slowly through it to so somebody out there can go, oh wow, oh wow. Okay, and, and here's what's gonna happen, everybody. As soon as I put this on the screen and make it look more um, in color so you can look at it. You're going to get the wacko YouTubers out there. They're, they're going to screen grab my screen and then take that image and zoom in. And they'll tell you that a pixel is a, is a car, okay? And they're not going to be right, okay? It turns out that it's hard to make out things like that. Uh, it's just an interesting... So here, here we go. Let, let, I'm going to color it right now. So... It has tons and tons of data in here to do all kinds of different things. So now it's brighter. And here's the, uh, I'll put some contrast on there. Right there. So that's pretty good. And see right there, you can see the CPS buildings right there. And and uh, sadly, this is this right here is the clarity that we're, that we that we only have right so it's not even it's not like Google Earth quality they have options on there of other satellite images that are absolutely um, you know millimeter you know they can get down to reading a license plate 
But what we're looking at right now, everybody, this image right here is, is at 12.58 on February 13th, 2017. At this exact moment in time, uh, let's see, right up, I think it's right here. You know, Libby and Abby are in the house there getting ready for going to, to the bridge in this shot right, that, that you're looking at right now. Now, is it possible that the bridge guy's car is parked right there, but you just can't see it because of the image quality? Yes, but I was, I thought it was worthwhile to actually make an attempt to get this image uh, to help perhaps solve the case, you know, help them solve the case. Um, of course, it's not gonna solve it by seeing a car somewhere. It's just uh, something that could give you some more information. And man, it's just absolutely crazy. I mean, we were, we were so excited to see that they had an image from February 13th, 2017, and you knew it was daytime and winter days are short. We were just, I mean, literally an hour and a half. Well, let's see, so this is 1250. So an hour and gosh, I don't know, nine minutes. That's when that first picture was taken on that bridge. And the bridge is right here. Uh, and look at uh, Google Earth is a lot clearer. So I'll maybe turn off all of the uh, I'm gonna turn off the uh, if I can find a damn thing. <laughs> Hold on. All of the I icons and so forth that I have on there. Okay. There we go. So this is what Google Earth looks like. And that's about the same kind of clarity. Now, just to let you know, uh, explain to you guys why these people that are going to come. Yeah, you're not going to see the car there, Randy. I didn't say that there was a car there, Randy. If you paid attention, I said there. I didn't say. I said you couldn't tell if there was a car there. Right. So here we go. If you look at the this circle here, or maybe this uh, cylinder right there, and they go back to here, that's about the same size. Might even be a little bit further out like that. So when you're this far out, it's hard to make out any vehicles on this road. Yet there are some because Google Earth is clear. Now watch, I'm going to zoom in. Watch this. All the way down there and there are, this, this is an automobile size. So now I'm going to go all the way back out and look at that. Look how far out I am and let's see about right there. So again, I'll go to, I'll go to a vehicle and then go out and right in this area is the CPS building right here. And it ju it's just so small. I think you can see a vehicle right there if I zoom in. Let's see. That's a truck, okay? <laughs> I mean, so the pixel at that level is you're not going to be able to make out a, a vehicle, unfortunately. So I apologize for that part of it, but we had to give it a shot. And you're, you aren't going to be able to make out a vehicle. Now, I'm sure people like Harvey Carroll and some of these other YouTubers, they'll take the image, zoom in to an un, you know, just absolutely zoom into the smallest thing that you can ever see and go, oh, look, that's a vehicle. Well, they're, they're lying to you. So don't, don't believe it because they're going to do that. That's what they do. They just want views and they pretend that they're these great... Uh, you know, image enhancers and so forth. But the truth is, this is actually the clearest, uh, on this image right here, that's as clear as you're gonna get. Okay, this is the image, if you're just showing up here, we got this image from a satellite imagery company on a second attempt on that site because Wood, uh, Woods Girl Notice that four satellites were missing from the original queries that we had done months ago, actually. Or, you know, at least a couple months ago. And I told you guys about that. I go, oh, man, we could only find February 17th. Well, she um, added the four satellites by saying uh, select all in this certain uh, page there. And it selected all the satellites. And lo and behold, there were four satellite images um, all the same basic they're all the same clarity though 
And so we selected the one that actually fit right across the range that we wanted to look at and you know, communicated back and forth with the guy. He didn't want to do it originally. And he said, well, because it's, it's just, I don't know if it's clear enough. And I, for me, I just, I want it anyways. Because I think it's just absolutely amazing and weird. You know, it's weird, kind of sort of creepy, but it's also interesting and amazing. There's all these weird feelings that I have looking at this satellite image where you're actually looking down on the bridge here and just 35 minutes or so, 37 minutes after this photo, this satellite image was taken, the girls are dropped off at this bridge right here, right in this area. That's weird. Hey, thanks, Kelly Franks. Thanks, Gray. This is awesome. Yeah. So this is the whole strip that we got right there. Look how huge that entire area is that the satellite, you get something like, what is it, 250 square kilometers or, or something like that. But Delphi is, it's just right, well, hold on to me. It's right down there. This is where the bridge is. And what you're looking at right now is 100% zoomed in. This is where it's the clearest. If you start zooming in more, it becomes more and more pixelated. So I don't know if there's any kind of hue or anything. I noticed that some of these different hues that you can select in here allow you to see the vehicles on the highway better. But I didn't really see anything right there. You can't make out a vehicle. You just can't. They're too small. So I'm just warning you guys, if you see somebody out there trying to pretend that they can see a vehicle at the CPS building, because they're going to do a screenshot of this, so you're going to lose clarity right away. And then they're going to zoom in on nothing. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So I do have uh, Zoom open if you guys want to call in and discuss. Maybe we can. Maybe there is something that's big enough that you think we could look at. Uh, unfortunately, I think the the CPS building was always our goal to see if we could see a vehicle there. I can't see anything at all. It's so small. Um, I mean, I definitely can see the building. But if you go around and you look at automobiles where there should be some, like for example, I think this is where that Packers place is right here. I mean, you can kind of see vehicles in there, but I don't even know which ones of those are just regular size automobiles. See that? And which ones are uh, trucks? Yeah. So anyways, this is the kind of stuff we try to do on this channel. Not the, hey, here's a pork chop you can slap on somebody's face. Okay, that doesn't work. Hey, what is, uh, hey, thank you, Nona617. <laughs> yeah, no thanks, Thanks for Lindahl. your dedication, Gray. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just let you know, uh, <laughs> it just took us a long time to get this and, uh, you know, figure out if it existed, found it, then had to work with the guy over there who seemed really like he didn't want to get it because it just, but I was saying, no, I think it's just important anyways. So I, they, um, Holman said, he thinks they already have this image. So I did send him the entire uh, TIFF file. 
Yes, and, and here's the thing is I didn't watermark it because I don't want to distort the image at all, okay? So you're going to get the rodeo clowns out there that, you know, especially somebody like Anthony Greeno who just picks whatever he wants and never credits anybody at all for getting it, you know? So when you see it on his channel, just realize that when he zooms in on a car, it's not real, all right? But yeah, I don't mind if you guys want to go out there and discuss it. Just say where you got it. That's all. Yeah, it's okay. You know, if somebody can find something on here, I have the original file. It's 333 megabytes. So I'm, I'm going to keep working with it to see if there's something else that can be, you know, different kind of contrasts and so forth. <laughs> no, there there are CW Brooks. There are, trust me, I I see them. All right, so why don't you guys call in and you know we can kind of look around on the map at different things. If you have anything that you, we can try to find something. The problem is, is it's just so. I I have put different filters in this actual software here because it's working with the data that's in the TIFF file. And you can see like you can sharpen it up but if you sharpen it too much see right there look at that's uh, that is clear right but it's also now got a lot of grain in it so there's sort of this fine line so that's the original then you sharpen it but when you sharpen it you're distorting the pixels so I actually don't like doing sharpening I like to just have the original photo and then work with the coloring that exists in it hey thanks Kristen what are you talking about Tricia that made no sense thank you so so much did you just show up here Tricia or that made absolutely no sense what you just typed in. Right, but this this is the date though, Trisha. If you've been following along, this right here is a satellite image from February 13th, 2017 at 12.58 p.m. A mere 38 or 37 minutes or so before the girls were dropped off at the, at the trails. You understand that? Okay. Because your, your comment didn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you want to go over there? Hold on. Yeah, so I think I had the right location. It looks the same, the grass, all the, you know, the different patterns of fields and so forth. That's kind of how my eye works on these things, get the little angular thing. So if I go to uh, Lightroom, yeah, let's see. Yeah, right here. So this is where she lived. Right here, right at this moment when this satellite was took this picture, uh, Libby and Abby are in the house here just planning on, I think they're just now asking about going to the bridge. And then 37 minutes after this, they're dropped off at the Monon High Bridge trailhead which is right here I guess near the Mears property where that parking area is so that's what's really weird um, just I think it's sort of a poignant photo I actually might make a, you know a frame it and just sort of something to remind me because it actually uh, affects me like touches me right there it's weird 
Yeah, that's see, that's exactly what Eric just said right there. That's that's right. Meeting it, not working. Frowning face. <laughs> Thanks, Kit Kat. Yeah, and thanks to, you know, Cairo is always, he's just a big supporter of the channel, trying to get shit figured out, you know, so thank you. I might actually get to meet him for, uh, in October sometime, because his job, he's driving all over the place, and what he, uh, he said he's going to eat a, what was it, a filet mignon, if uh, the Delphi case is solved. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hopefully that's what I'll have to buy him. Okay. Yeah. So this this is my my. If you go back and look at my thumbnail and everything, it's absolutely hundred percent accurate. It's not. It's not clickbait. It literally is exactly what I was thinking. I said almost. If we had just had it, maybe double the clarity, which wouldn't even have been that much clearer. You could make out automobiles probably a lot better um, if it was because I think you can see some automobiles like right there. That's probably a truck. And that's probably another semi. Little tiny speck of darkness, but that's it. Yeah. Well, thank. Yeah. No problem. You know, I know everybody's saying thank you, but Ed, listen, I really appreciate all of you. I mean, thank, to be honest with you, I don't know if I could, you know, just putting out $450 for things like this, and it turns out where we're not maybe not going to get what we want from it, but um, I think it serves another purpose, too, just that this is a snap. Thank you very much. Um, you know, who was that right there that um, just sent that donation? I missed their name. Huh? <laughs> trying to re understand what Sam says it's, it's always difficult for me so again if you look at this you can see the metadata this is real metadata not what you hear on some of the other channels this came with the file here it says right here 2017 February 13th and the time was 1758 which you might admit originally go, oh, wow, 1758, that's 558. However, it's UTC time, which means it's, uh, you base it off of Greenwich. So it's five hours west of Greenwich. So five, uh, you, might, you subtract five, and it's also not daylight savings time now, or during that time in Indiana. Yeah, so feel free to call in and talk about anything related to Delphi tonight. Okay, I'll, I'll always have this up on the screen, but you guys can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. All right, so the, there are open lines. I know it's early, so people may, may uh, not have their drink on where they feel confident to call in. But Thanks, Wombat, and thank you, Alicia Supertran. But, yes, thank uh, Woods Thanks, Girl, Gray. too. Thanks, Cairo uh, and Woods Girl. You guys you are awesome. Awesome. You now do. I'm sure it's the same horse. <laughs> You're sure it's the same horse, huh? Is the phone number? Uh, this poor I don't know if it's working. Thanks, guys. Beaming face with smiling eyes. Oh, is it broken? Hold on. Let me. Uh, I was wondering if it wasn't working or not. Hold on a second. Somebody's going to try to parse out this metadata and say, "Oh, wow! Look at it. it says. Look at what it says right there." 
Oh wow, I guess it doesn't uh, have the wrong code in there. Shit. <laughs> no wonder nobody was Meeting calling. ID, broken, confused face. Well, at least it got me another $2, huh, Nanny? <laughs> All right, there you go. Numbers works now. Number works now. I got it up there. Sorry about that. I thought I had changed that. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yes, yeah, so it was Diana, Diane Williams and Kristen Cure just did the uh, PayPal's that I missed on the uh, on the screen there. Sorry about that. So yes, the numbers work now. So it looks like the Earth observation equipment, planet scope. Um, yeah, if you get too far in the weeds here, somebody will come up with something on alternate meaning from something really simple. I think that might be right. Well, Nanny, the phone's open for you. Texture, that's not bad, that one. And apparently the car that was parked by the CPS building was on the road, not the parking area. Thanks, Nini. Cat said it first person shrugging medium light skin tone female sign. Oh, she did. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sam. Sam the <laughs> No, you don't come across. I just you're always goofing around. I don't know what you're saying. I just don't understand you. That's really what it is. Sorry, I come off to you as annoying, but I <laughs> promise there's a method to my craziness. <laughs> I bet there is. I just don't understand it. Maybe we need to combine girl code with guy code, and somehow it'll make sense in some weird amalgamation. Who knows? <laughs> uh, did you try calling in uh, True Crime Theater? No, it won't make sense. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about this? Isn't this kind of a, a poignant um, image, True Crime Theater? I mean, you look at that and you just think, wow, this is right then. Literally 38 minutes or so before the... The girls are dropped off at the bridge. It's, it's wild. Yeah, you guys could you should check out uh, True Crime Theater 4K. I, I, he probably needs to change the name because I, I literally can never remember the whole thing. I don't know if it's because I'm... Like if it was just... Uh, let's see. How else would you say it? <laughs> Yeah, so something like, yeah, that's even that's harder though. It's like that's a lot of letters. Yeah, but anyways, go check them out. He did a uh, he did a he went to Delphi himself and went to the bridge and he discussed the you know his how he felt out there. And I thought that was one of the better. It just it was awesome really well uh, explained you know so you guys can go check that out yeah bumping his gum <laughs> yeah cuz he he found this um shadow but it's the new pork chop <laughs> 
So you got the pork chop on the left side of the face, and then the new shadow that kind of... All right, here we go. I got the... Uh, I call it coming. 765, you're on the air. Hey, this is Wally Gator. Wally Gator. <laughs> oh, man. How's it going, buddy? What's going on? Uh, not much. Uh, not bad. Um, just a real silly quick quick uh, question. Um, have you ever seen the um, Google Earth Man picture of him standing on the bridge and taking the picture of that or some morning, like the street view of him standing actually on the bridge and taking a picture? I don't know what that means. What do have you mean? You ever seen, like, what do you mean okay, street view? Like when you're looking at... Yeah, go no, ahead. but when you are looking at street view, the little blue dots on the bridge, yeah. have you ever clicked on them? I've never seen you show that picture. And it's uh, a really good picture of the morning, of a morning on that bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know if, if you've ever clicked on that or not. Well, I haven't clicked on the one. I always I don't, want. I don't, let me see if I have it in uh, Google Earth here. I know it's probably on Google Maps, right? But, uh. Uh, whichever one's got Street View. Well, no, but it's not. It's Google it, Earth well, it can't Google, be a street. Google Maps. It can't be Street View because it's not a street. It's just a. You know, but here's some yeah, like but this it's one. Like the little blue dot. You know what I mean? Is yeah. it like this? Th this image right here. There's that one, and then uh, I can't. I'm not watching the screen. I'm sorry. Well, what is it? I'm what does it look like to you? Savvy. Is it like a shot from below the bridge, looking up at it, or what? Uh, no, he's on the um, end of the bridge, taking a picture of the bridge. Like he's he walked the trail. He got on the bridge. And then oh. Google Earth the picture of the bridge, a 360 degree view. Oh, I think I did see bridge. that a long time ago. I don't know where to find that now, though. I, I have seen that. Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, uh, there was a little blue dot. Thank you, Heart. So this a little channel's blue dot dedication on the bridge. to all cases. That's right, but I use Google Earth. Right I use Google Earth, not Google Maps. Okay, are you talking about Google Maps? Because um, there isn't one on Google Earth. That I can see, anyways. I mean, I got a ton of crap on it. Let me try to turn off the everything. Yeah, so I can still see these two little photo icons, and that's all I see on the bridge. Let's see, there's another one here down the 505. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll we'll try to find that some other time. Uh, maybe on Google Maps, maybe. Yeah, could be. It's one or the other. I've got both of them on my phone, so I'm not sure which one it'd be. Okay. Uh, well, let me see if I can just do it fast. If I can't do it fast, I'm not going to do it. Um, okay. My second question was, could you tell me when that picture was taken any possible way? If you, When you find it. Oh. Uh, well, what, why do you want me to... Well, okay, so you what, do, what's me. your goal then? What are you, what are you trying to get to? Because I can tell that you want me to look at it for uh, a reason and you think somebody might be in the picture. And, well... Uh, no, not really. Um, months <laughs> okay. ago, a year ago. Uh, come <laughs> on. Say, a year ago. <laughs> a year ago, I thought, well, hey, maybe the Google man did this. And there's a picture of him because it's happened before. You know, you've heard of that kind of crazy stuff with Google Maps. Kind of mm -hmm. like finding a car in a lake. I mean, yeah. it happens, you know. They actually see a crime on... Um, you know, Google Earth happening or something, you know. So, you know, a long time ago, I thought, well, that's funny. Here's a guy standing on the bridge on the exact same kind of morning. It looks like a winter morning because you see just a brief bit of snow on the bridge, like at 10 o'clock. The sun's coming up over the trees. And hmm. now here's a picture of Google oh. Earth. Well, I'm on there. I'm right on there right now. exact moment. I'm on there. Yep. It's from Google Maps. So... He, there is an image on there. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 360 camera shot. Yeah, and if you look down, it actually show him underneath the camera. You'll see his clothing and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a Google. Oh, an actual Google guy went there. That's wild. Man, I wonder why he did that. Okay. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know where you're going, so Wally. I, you do it. I know where you're going, Wally. Let me try the other one. Um, there's two of them on there. Okay, that one looks... 
No, it looks like the same one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, it's not much to it, but um, I just, can you find out the date that picture was taken? Uh, maybe. It's funny because it's the exact same spot as the other. Um, so let's see. I don't know if it tells me that. Let me try to go back to Google Earth for a second. Let me see if I can do that. Because those the two images that are on the bridge are the same exact location. So can I actually? No. Yeah, I don't think he really got much. It's kind of like a um, I don't know what would you call that a historic yeah. picture, well, you know? That's okay. Yeah. No. So what else you got? What else you got? Ah, that's all I had. <laughs> it's just been <laughs> bugging me for a year and a half now. I had to get it off my chest. Yeah, I have seen that before. I okay. just haven't seen. Uh, I just, I just thought of it um, as a that it was just a Google Earth image or somebody. I actually didn't know it was Google Earth. I thought it was somebody, just like you or me, that took a three hundred sixty degree image and then uploaded it and then was able to put it in that location. Because you can do that too. You don't have to right. work for Google to do it. So, all right. Well, you you sparked oh. another caller, okay. Wally. Yeah something else different to look at tonight okay yeah. i'll let you go hey i appreciate it thanks for calling in have a good one okay, yeah. okay great bye. talk to you later bye. bye yeah remember wally he's the one that went out in the other case that we were covering and drove around and um turned in to be a suspect because he drove around so much that was funny all right 513 you're on the air Yes, uh, this is um, Paul Dickerson, and oh, yeah. um, if you remember, I've got the uh, the MG guy, the person of interest. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you you had talked to me a while back, um, saying you know that if I really felt like it was him, that I should um, try to get in touch with Jerry Holm, and and I've done that, but I, I just haven't had any luck. I every month or so I call and. I just get voicemail and I leave my, you know, I leave a callback number. I don't get anything. So I kind of like feel like maybe that's just not, not going to happen. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, so, I, you could try calling there and leaving messages and then saying, and just keep bugging and bugging and bugging for them to talk to you. That's kind of what I'm doing, but it, it's like once a month, maybe, you know, I really, I just I don't know I don't feel like doing it every day I think that'd Thanks, just be too much you know but yeah um Gray but the yeah I'd really the uh, drop back from you know talking about him on my YouTube channel and stuff because the family got involved and um you know or at least they found out you know, somewhere or another and about what I thought and um so they just they got upset or one of them did but there was one there's one guy one family member his nephew has a big online presence and you know i just i don't want to aggravate him that's not my goal that's not what i want to do you know so so i just backed off you know and i always thought i would as soon as the family you know got wind of it yeah well it i mean because the thing is is it might you know i mean i'm saying it's it's i'm going to say it's likely not that guy however you yeah, really fine. you really believe it is right so the thing is is um, right but they might be like what in the hell are you talking about because they probably feel like they know it's not him and then they're probably freaking out because their son who passed away a while ago is out is you know his face is being discussed about being right. the the killer even though you and your other friends are you feel confident like oh my god that's him which is exactly what law enforcement's always told people listen if you recognize the guy that's the guy that's who we want to hear from right right yeah old mother so, i have no idea her if, wait hold on a second Can you hold on hold on one second but when she bent <laughs> billy over, boy blue again over. hold on <laughs> Thanks, Billy Boy Blue. 
he put in a poem that was really loud that was over it was over your voice though <laughs> but he does that all the time it's like his mo he, he's good at it he puts a poem in there he does a super chat with a poem and then it's so loud that it covers anybody who's talking so uh all right go ahead say what you're saying okay yeah so i have no idea how much the family has educated themselves on the case so i can't really um say you know um what they you know because matt the one guy his his nephew has just kind of come out and said oh you know that wouldn't be him or anything and he's the only one that's really voiced anything and that's fine but I, I don't I'm not trying to reach them or anything you know that's up to them what they want to do with it and and so I you know I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna mention it anymore on my channel yeah it's probably a good idea because too because you don't want to get in you know, trouble too he yeah. subscribed to my channel so that's all you know so he's gonna know if I do anything so I'll just decide no, I'll just cool it yeah another thing too is uh, i mean you, you put it out you should report it to law enforcement but doing putting it out in public you know that's what i don't like about you know i mean like for example you know the other day another youtuber was trying to talk about how toby lesenby is the delphi killer and put out all the stuff and it's like what the hell are you talking about why do you put out a video right. like that i mean it's like <laughs> you don't think that they've checked all these people okay you might not like him but to right. put out a video like that is uh pure insanity it, it's embarrassing and of course well i wasn't right. saying it was him it was just that i kept him on the screen and uh, made uh not so vague references to about a thousand different you know come on that's exactly what you're doing <sighs> it's insane Right. right, right. I just got brave because he died, and and I thought, well, you know, at least you know I'm not gonna, you know, affect his life because he doesn't really have anything to uh, reputation to worry about anymore. But um, but I'm sure the family, you know, was concerned and everything. So yeah. Well, but, sounds good. But you know, you you did get your you put your tips in, and maybe something like, something will come. Yeah. Of it. <clears throat> All right. All right. Well thanks, for well, thanks for calling in, Paul. Mm -hmm. yeah. No problem. Right. I appreciate it. Bye. 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 And by the way, hey, hey, you still there, Billy Boy Blue? Oh, I'm going to do your <clears throat> your nursery rhyme. Okay. Old Mother Hubbard. Oh, let's see. Old, <laughs> old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch a poor, uh, what is it? Fetch poor rover a bone? Is that what it says? Are you sure it says that? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch poor rover a bone but when she bent over rover took over oh all right so just for you okay billy boy blue because it wasn't read out loud where you could hear it because there was somebody talking all right buddy all right that's andrew dice clay's joke <laughs> okay i got it in there for you billy boy blue all right Sometimes it's just hard to, uh, yeah, it was kind of, it was hard to say that one. Yeah, go, if you, you guys should go listen to Andrew Dice Clay's nursery rhymes. They're pretty funny. Yep, I know that one too there, True Crime Theater. That one you can't actually uh, get away with, I don't think. But Jack and Jill went up the hill, each with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250. Ooh. What's the one about the uh, th <laughs> uh Oh hell. What are the other ones? <laughs> Billy Boy. <laughs> oh shit. Billy Boy Blue. That's awesome. Yeah, I've listened to them a few times recently, but I, I can't remember some of them. All right, so I don't know how many people are still here, um, but, you know, basically the whole point of this was I had been mentioning that we were looking for an image 
out on uh, uh, no I didn't even say image I just said we were looking for something and then we actually found the something and then it was all about I was just kind of waiting oh my god what kind of clarity what kind of uh, you know what time of day was it that's a really big deal I think one o'clock ish is valuable because I would think that the bridge you know, the bridge guy would be in that area at that time you know so probably somewhere around in here if this was clear footage you might actually be able to see him walking somewhere like if you actually they actually have satellite imagery that's I think it goes down to millimeters I mean or, or something like that it's ludicrous uh, there, there was a case uh, Woods Girl was telling me about that was solved doing exactly the same thing or it led to some of the information that was in it yeah 20 centimeters so 20 centimeters I guess it's not really inches that's like a foot basically that's awesome that's tiny but we're at a three meter clarity so it's called medium resolution I know it'd be so great to but 20 centimeters that mean I think that's what Google Earth is really I mean Google Earth is I mean look you're up here and that's that's all you get but then you zoom in and I mean you're right on top of uh, you got the whole vehicle you can literally measure these things like aren't these normally 48 feet long these units like this watch I bet if you take the measuring tape start right on the edge of the I'll put it the feet start right on the edge of the trailer right there and go this direction right to the end and 51.89 Oh, so there you go. Uh, Brannigan Law said 52 feet. So you're looking at, <laughs> you know, it's right on the money. So, it's, yeah, there are 48 footers. There's also 52 footers. That's what we're looking at right here. Right? And then if you go to, like, a standard automobile, you know, what are those normally about? A sedan. Probably 12, 13 feet, something like that. Yeah, that's 17, but I think that's part of that shadow, actually. Yeah, the front of that was shadow. So it be right, right there back. <clears throat> but yes, um, I definitely thought it was worth it to go and try to see if this was going to work. But other than that, um, if you guys want to call in and talk about it, that'd be great. But I can just go over what I, I'm going to go over what I think happened right here. The, my order of events. So up here, this is where Libby and Abby live. They asked for permission to go to the bridge. They were allowed to go to the bridge only if they had a ride there and a ride back. Kelsey would give them a ride there. The ride back was going to be Derek. Uh, it turns out that she didn't really ask Derek, but just said, oh, yeah, Derek said it was okay, because she knew she could just call Derek whenever. So I guess she did call and on the way there or something like that. And then Derek said he'd be there in an hour and a half to two hours. And after he drove to Frankfurt, which is way down here, this town right here, he drove down here to take photographs for Becky's appraisal business. All right, so the girls, I think they left the house probably at 1, you know, 28. I'm just throwing a guess out there. This is the route they took, the green route right there. And then the purple is an overlap of the green and purple. Drive down here. You drive by Logan's property, drive by the cemetery, and then they're dropped off right across the street from the Mears property. And I know that... Uh, you know, people that have been there can actually just see what I'm looking at. I actually know that if I went there, I'd know where I was just because I've looked at this so many times that I just, I could drive there, get out of the car, and know exactly where I was. So here's the path right there. 
and then it takes about six minutes to walk down this trail. I think they dropped off at 135, and then they, you know, they're just kind of kids lollygagging around. They're not, they're not hustling. Oh, we got to get to the bridge. We got to get to the bridge. So they're just kind of walking down the trail. Perhaps they ran into the, the bridge guy. He could have been standing there waiting, and I think the bridge guy knew exactly what the traffic was on that bridge that day. I think he knew that everybody that he had seen, he might have been there at 12-something, just hanging out watching, getting a feel for it. Everybody he saw go this way eventually came back. So when the girls walked by, he knew that there was nobody in front of them, meaning on you know, this direction. There's nobody in front of them. And while he's standing there, he knows nobody's directly behind. So he starts walking down the trail. And at about this spot right here, I know that, uh, you know, True Crime Theater, he was walking around out here. So if you're standing about right here, you can see the, the bridge and you can see who's ever coming on the trail. See, look at that. It's a straight shot right there, right? So keep your eye on this spot right there. And then I'm going to zoom in. And then you go about like this. You can see, you know, probably like more like right there, but you can see the beginning of the bridge. So you'd wa watch the girls. He probably stayed way back in the woods, watch them get to the bridge. Then he kept following, always making sure he looked back behind him, glancing around to see if there was anybody he might have missed that just spent an extra amount of time down there. And, you know, to be honest with you, he could have actually been to the beginning of the bridge earlier and knew for sure there was nobody there and then actually walked back to the the bench area because then he then he he already scouted out that there's nobody down there so anyway it, however he did it i think he was well aware that there was nobody in front of him nobody behind it then he eventually when the girls get on the bridge he's still back there watching libby it gets on the bridge and Abby is behind her, and Libby takes a low shot of the full length of the bridge, and it's a really, it's a great photograph. Black and white, you see the whole bridge, everything's good. Then they walk a little bit further, then at 2.07, Libby is taking a picture back towards the way they came, and that's why people think, oh man, you can see the bridge guy back there. The thing is, is he is back there somewhere. He's just not in the shot that you can make out. There's no, no enhancing. Nothing you're going to do is going to be able to fle you know, flesh out the, the bridge guy in that shot. So right here, Libby's filming back that direction. They, Google Earth sucks with bridges, by the way. It kind of droops them down onto the ground because they just, you know, unless they make a model, that's what it does. And Abby's standing right here. You know, like 12 feet away from the edge of this platform, Libby's on the platform. And then, as usual, I think Libby then got onto the platform first and started walking this direction, and Abby's behind her the whole way. And then probably at some point, you know, maybe even around this area, they look back and they see this guy, the same guy that they may have seen earlier or not, but they saw this guy just really kind of hustling across the bridge, and then they started walking, and they, they head off this direction, and then just, um, let's see, Libby gets off to the end of the bridge, and I bet you was even encouraging Abby, come on, come on, because you know, she's a lot slower. She'd never crossed the bridge before. Abby's still on the bridge when Libby starts filming back this direction, the suspect who's actually past platform six right here, and the fork tree that you see behind him is so far away, it's weird because it looks like it's right there, but the camera angle, this is where the fork tree is, way back here. It's literally, uh, if I was going to measure that from this position, it's 222 feet behind the bridge guy in that shot, and the platform you see is a good 180 feet right there. So it's weird when you look at that, the image of the bridge guy, it appears that the platform and the tree are right next to him, but it's not even close. So anyways, Abby is still on the bridge. I think I could probably move this a little bit further. Like if, 
I think you can put Abby about right here. And then this guy just caught up and then Abby steps off the bridge, kind of gets a little bit behind Libby and then the bridge guy comes off. And as he's showing up, probably about right in this area, he says, hey guys. And they're probably thinking, you know, whispering, like, wait, what's going on? Yeah. Then he passes them. And then once he's passed, he knows that they're absolutely trapped because there's no running across that bridge. So then he said, pulls out a gun and he says, get down the hill. Then he has them go down this hill right here. And then another hill after you go over the private drive. Then you walk this direction and then there's this really shallow portion of the creek right here. And crossed somewhere over here. Now, did they try to escape? And that's why they crossed, or did he force them across at gunpoint? I've always thought that this area here was would be significant strategically. Um, so sometimes I do think maybe they did try to run for it, uh, but I, it seems to make more sense that he just took a gun out and forced them across the creek. And if you look right here, you can see that there's a big bank that goes up kind of a flat area here it slowly rises then it gets steep up above like that see that and that's the crime scene right there and I don't know what what he did to them none of us have that information in, uh, that's verifiable or proven and I'm glad that we don't because that way the killer will they'll actually know who it is when that person comes forward or they'll the person that they speak to might know the killer because they know something they shouldn't know but we're told all right so there you go that's my uh, general theory right there and then I believe I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit on I think he, he came through the cemetery or something like that but perhaps maybe he did maintain some you know, through the woods and got back onto the track, onto the, um, not tracks, the, uh, the the trail here. And then, here's the thing, is I think it's possible, I, I, I'd like to, um, there's some things I'm going to have, uh, Cairo's going to be heading out there at some point, and we're going to see if he can, see if he can find a few things that I'm looking for. So, there you go. But at some point, I think there probably may have been a vehicle here, and I don't think it was there though. I think it was probably parked on on the road. But look how clear Google Earth is. I mean, if you had a car there, you could definitely zoom in on it and kind of tell what type it is and everything. You know, like those. See that. At least you could get the coloring of it. And it, you could say, like, a white sedan. So, there you go. What do you guys think of that? And he got out of there. Um, police are saying that between 12 and 5, they want to know if that vehicle is there. So, maybe they really think... They're just throwing out a wide range not to give us too precise of information. But they are now opening the door that for some reason they think it's possible that the bridge guy, after being down here, made it all the way back over here. Now is it possible that he at some point got back on the trail, walked to the Freedom Bridge, then around like this onto the road, and then got to his car, but he was on the road here. Okay. Three zero four, you're on the air. What's going on? Not much. <laughs> How you doing tonight? <laughs> Not too bad. What's going on? Hey, I got a quick question. So this is Cairo, right? You sound like you're. <laughs> for a minute there, it was hard to. No, no. <laughs> okay. It's you just Cairo. sounded. You sound exactly no. like him, though. It, it's bizarre. Oh uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they're saying that the car by the CPS building was possibly parked on the road. Yeah, maybe just like on the road there. 
on the on the side you know like on the shoulder ish not on the road road you know yeah, yeah. but like i don't know that. maybe it looked today i i was i was never in delphi back when the cps building was there but like how it is now i could never dream of a car even being able to park anywhere off that side like did it did the terrain change like well it's really weeded right but it could be because it's also not february or or april right have you ever been out there during that time you you know there's a ditch there was a ditch there i i could be wrong just like kind of like not a not like a big ditch just kind of like a gutter i don't i feel like if somebody parked their car there it would just stick out so badly it's like, I, I don't know. I well, this weird. The street view. Sure the street view in August 2018 actually has a dozer, mini dozer, on that piece of property without the CPS building being there. And I don't know if it's working did as we say, speak. But it's kind of weird. It's just right when they were. Did you? Did you say dozer? Yeah, like a, <laughs> like a, like a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's a freaking machine, right? I love you, Paul. It's a machine. It's a, you know, a mini dozer. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, at least I made Cairo laugh tonight. Oh wait, here we go. Oh, hold on, we got a, we got another Billy Boy uh, Billy Boy Blue joke. Here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Yeah, this one, this is one of my favorite ones right here. Here it comes. Little Miss Muffet. Saturday on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, Saturday down beside Why is it saying her. Saturday? He said, hey, what's in the bowl, beach? <laughs> I don't know why I kept saying Saturday. Did you hear that? It read it like, Little Miss Muffet, Saturday on her tuffet. But it just says, well, because he has a capital S. But the second time, it had a lowercase s. Uh, so, have you heard that one, Cairo? Yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah, I have to say it again, though, because it read it bad. Okay. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, sat down beside her. He said, hey, what's in the bowl, biatch? (laughs) Okay, I have to say it like that. I can't say it. Ooh. I have to say it at the end. Yeah, they're they're not PC jokes. All right, everybody, but. They are jokes, nevertheless. You were saying the other day, you, you sent me that video, and you're like, I, if he was a comedian today, I don't see how it would work. <laughs> yeah, there's no chance. It just <laughs> You can't laugh. If you laugh at that, by God, there's something, you're just not, you're, you're not a good person. Well, sometimes things are just kind of funny, you know. It's, oh, well. Yeah, people get hurt hurt too easy nowadays i'll yeah. let you go i just wanted to I don't yeah know. just throw something on say hi you, ha- you haven't got any you haven't, you haven't had any calls lately why isn't anyone calling <laughs> i don't know i think they I, I think i'm just so thorough with what i say that they just they're left with nothing you see what i'm saying it's closed <laughs> it's all closed up everyone there's nothing else to say yeah <laughs> right all right, I'm going to get off here. I, right, can't see the, I can't see the video. I'm trying to watch this. Okay, well, have a good one. Thanks for all the help. Dude. Right, bye. Yeah, see you. bye. Yeah, later. Cairo al Qadir. Yeah, but nowadays, he, Andrew Dice Clay, he can't even do a joke because everybody fills in the lines while, while he's going. He'll just start it off, and then the whole rest of the crowd does it. So, hey, Beth, did you just get here? Did you just get here, Beth? Yeah. Well, it's a 360-degree it's a video. Okay, well, if you just got here... Um, you probably missed this part then is this image right here is uh, took a while to find it uh, woods girl and um, helped find it you know she actually was able to 
I mean, she mainly found it, really, to be honest with you, because she got rid of the four satellite dishes. And this image right here is, or added the four satellite dishes to the search and found the two February 13, 2017 satellite image of Delphi at 1258 p.m. right here. We paid $450 to get it because um, even though we knew the clarity might not be that great, that's as good as clear as you're going to get. But this is literally 38 minutes before the girls are dropped off at the walking trail. All right, so hold on. We've got uh, 503, you're on the air. Well, hey, it's Woods. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Woods Girl. What's going on? <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, I just wanted to share something about um, that process about you because I'm, I'm sure you're not going to tell everybody you're being modest, but um, this is, I mean, this really speaks to the level of um, just professionalism and um, how detail-oriented that Gray is. Um, really, the the question we had about this, this image was what time was it taken at? And he was able to look at the satellite image and see where the shadows were from those silos that were east of the um, CPS building. And from that, he went into his 3D program and looked at the the angle of the sun on Bridge Guy's face and on that model that he had made. He was able to change that dial minute by minute <laughs> came up with, I think the satellite photo was taken at 1258. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. <laughs> That's so weird. That was weird to be oh. right on the minute like that. But it was crazy so anyway well, I, I know you wouldn't share that so i thought i would <laughs> well i might i might have I, I think i actually explained at the very beginning the uh, on 3d studio max oh. how that worked okay but, yeah i was but I was thank you coming in but anyways that's all i had but <laughs> <laughs> well that's very cool awesome but listen that was so cool uh, so what, what you did you were on the site because we looked there, God, well, how long ago was it? Like two months ago or something? Three months? Remember? Oh, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and Three it was, or four months ago, yeah. And it was like the 17th, and it was like, oh, crap. And then right. you went back so there cool. randomly again and, and then noticed that three of the satellite, or four of the satellite dishes weren't included, and then you hit select all, and boom, it was just sitting there. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it was quite a moment. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people in the chat have said, said the same thing that we talked about. It. I don't know. There's just something. Um, it just really uh, hits it. You know, hits home when you see that image and realize that. You know, they're they're still there, and there's. I don't know. You just somebody else said this. You just want to somehow reach through that photo and say, "Don't go." <laughs> you know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but and, and people sure. and people say, "Hey, zoom it in." Well, you can't. Okay, I mean, if you can't see something here, zooming isn't going to do anything. Because I'm at a hundred percent. I'm hundred percent right now is the size of the image. It's a massive image, but right now I'm at a hundred percent. So if you start zooming in, it gets more and more pixelated. That's where people right. get confused. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean it. Obviously, would have been ideal if it was higher resolution and you know 40 minutes later or even yeah. later than that but um yeah. still it was just pretty remarkable to even even see that that existed so anyways Absolutely thank you for all your hard work well forward. thank you that was awesome <laughs> that was awesome all right cool all right appreciate it that's all i had all right well have a good one thanks for calling in <laughs> okay right, you too right, bye, -bye. bye. Yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, so we've got uh, 276. You're on the air. Uh, yes, this is Christian Cure. Can Christian you hear me? Cure? What are you a cure for? <laughs> I guess uh, all purposes. That I was going to ask, and I heard this, or saw it, I think, on Greenos, but they 
had uh, an experiment they did about the girls screaming and that people should have been able to hear them. Do you have any idea that you think he might have duct taped their mouths or they didn't no. scream at all? Or I just don't think anybody was around to hear it. You know? Greeno puts out a lot of oh. crap that just, he doesn't, there's not a lot of thinking about what was going on. You know, oh, wow, yeah, 247, right. there's somebody, uh, the, you know, this girl's on the bridge taking pictures. Well, she it was an hour later. So the whole theory was built on right. that. Okay, so the reality of it is is uh, you can do the scream test. Let me ask you this. What good does the scream, scream test do? Like, what, what do we, um, so what does well, it mean? Like, what does it even mean to anything? It doesn't mean anything. It's like, okay. Well, yeah, especially if. Yeah, go ahead. Especially if nobody was there to hear it. Right, but what good does it do? Even if they're let's, so what what is what's being suggested? When, wow, I could hear it from the bridge. There was a scream. Therefore, what? It's just sort of a sensationalistic thing, if you ask me. There's absolutely no meaning to it at all. There is what? Are you saying, oh, people heard it, but they did nothing? Is that what the suggestion is? I I don't really get it. Like, what's the end game of that? I don't really. (laughs) <laughs> I just think it was a dramatic uh, right, yeah. act they put on. I don't think they really had an intelligent suggestion about what it meant, but I just <laughs> wondered if um, he possibly put duct tape on their mouths at some point. Or, yeah, I mean, but, yeah. I guess that's that's one of those things like, well, they didn't scream, right. therefore they had duct tape on, and what, again, at right. that point, what would that do? You know, so it's sort of like, I mean, uh-huh. what, right. you know, I, I just, it's one of those things that's not going to help anything. Well, we could check all the stores right. who sold duct tape to, well, they, <laughs> <laughs> they sell, I right. don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's why I've had to, I have to quit watching all those other channels. I, I just have to stick with facts here and quit looking at that stuff. But um, I was just, I hadn't thought about it like what you said, that there was nobody there. But yeah, he knew that, that there was nobody sense. there. So within, you know, he took him down. He went down the hill. He knew nobody was behind him. So by the, he probably got him across the creek within ten minutes after going down the hill, I would think. Right. And that means anybody, you know, it's possible somebody could have just started getting to the bridge, but it just there's no evidence that anybody was there at anywhere near that time. I think the next people there were right. a little after three o'clock or, you know, late. 250 somewhere um, right so they're not going to be hearing anything well I appreciate you answering that for me and I certainly appreciate all the work you do well thank you thank, thank you <laughs> I always see you in the comments alright appreciate it thanks alright I think she's still on hold Oh, there she goes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who he is. All I know is he uses a lot of my stuff, copies my, you know, it's just, it's really starting to bother me a little bit. You know, kind of copies how I do things, even though it's but then done incorrectly. It's like, why don't you just have your own style on YouTube? You know, have your your own, uh, you know, come up with your own thing and go do it. You know, you can use, look at somebody's video and go, oh, cool, I like how they have the scrolling bar there. Oh, I like how they have, you know, maybe another person has this and add them to what you like to do. But to sit there and try to mimic a lot of stuff drives me nuts. Yeah. But isn't that crazy, uh, Beth? That this image right here, at the time that this photo is taken, you know, right up in, in this area here is where, uh, you know, right here actually, Abby and Libby are just planning on going to the bridge at 12.58. And then just 39 minutes later, 
they're dropped off right here right right by Mir's property right there so if this was just double or three times the clarity it's possible we could have made out a vehicle perhaps parked right there but unfortunately it didn't come back that way but we were just so excited waiting 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 ah crap I think you can actually see whatever that is on my image here you can see something right there but zooming does nothing <laughs> that's okay Kristen well I did I sent a text message to uh, uh, Holman Beth and he messaged back said yeah go ahead and send it to me he said he thinks they are already have it which is neat you know that means that they're on they're doing all the little things like that to try to figure this out and if this is the best image that's out there they too were unlucky on that aspect as well it's like could you imagine if that was just a really one of the super clear versions what are you talking about this video beth yeah we already said that at the beginning of the show he's going to take this image uh, screen grab it zoom in and create a pork chop of vehicles on the ground yep yeah, we talked about that early on. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to watermark it or anything like that. <laughs> He's gonna, uh, you know, you're going to get these clowns. Let me just show you what's going to happen, everybody. Watch. So I'm going to take a, just a screen grab. So this is what a screen grab is right now. I actually have it paused, and I'm going to capture image on the screen right there. All right, so I've, I just copied that into memory. And then I'm going to open up Photoshop here. We'll pull uh, a Harvey right now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, there you go. So he'll take something like this. Oh, no! Look at that. That's the uh, the uh, you know. Wait, just look at this. The uh, <laughs> the Del the uh, CPS building here. Now, if you zoom in really close there, see, look at that. Is what you're gonna get, right? Pixels. And now, see right there. We were able to analyze that, and it turns out that that's a vehicle right there, everybody. And, yeah, right there. See that little dark spot there? That's another vehicle parked there. We're just not sure what... Right? Okay. So that just... I'm showing you right now that what I, what I showed you a minute ago on the other program was 100% zoomed in. So now, if we want to zoom in on the CPS building, watch what happens. So right there, it's still... Um, you know, your eye can just look at it. Uh, but watch when you go to any of these roads. Now, that's a semi-truck right there. That's uh, ma so look how, look how little the semi truck is. So you can sit there and you zoom in. Now watch this. You're getting now you're at pixel level. So that's all you have. So what these what these clowns do is they switch it to 400 pixels an inch, and now there's a lot more pixels there. But you did nothing really. Okay, you did absolutely nothing at all except. Um, add more pixels for example see how there's this color right there now there'd be eight of those colors you know like eight this way eight that way and then it's just it's ridiculous hey somebody just called in if you want to call back I'll take that one <laughs> you don't see the polka dot underwear uh, true crime theater 
Minecraft 4K. I swear I just heard Harvey's voice. I thought he called in for a minute. Ha ha ha. Yeah. But, uh, hey, uh, Woods Girl, yes, uh, you said that I, w I wouldn't have mentioned that, but I did say it because I, at the beginning of the show, I thought, it, I did think it was interesting how accurate 3D Studio Max was, just looking at it, eyeballing it, and then saying, wow, that looks like the satellite image. So I, I did say it. Darn it. Yeah, why don't you call in, True Crime Theater? Tell us about your uh, experience. <laughs> yeah. That, that was one of the things that was exciting to me, so I had to say it. I have no idea who y'all are talking. <laughs> yeah, you probably are, Sugar Loaf. You probably are. Because all I can tell you right now is that there are there's a bunch of people putting out videos on Delphi specifically uh, that really just kind of make a uh, mockery of the whole thing. You know, using crazy music, uh, just really, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain it. If you haven't seen it, don't go, don't seek it out. Yeah, it really is. It is embarrassing. And the problem is, is whenever I go over there and I'll say something like, hey, you're wrong, this is actually the information. They get offended and angry instead of just saying, oh, shit, really? Let me go check that out. And, and they call you a troll. Like, for example, one of them, um, I actually said, listen, her name is... Kelsey, K E L S I. I handcuffs and possibly a stiffy. Right, because this guy would constantly misspell it, and he said, "Well, apparently you have to spell the name right." <laughs> well, um, yeah, I mean, doesn't everybody want their name spelled correctly or pronounced right? That's just kind of the way it is. All right, so it's not you're not being a troll. Like my name is G R A Y, right? If somebody types in G R E Y. You'll get 57 people in the chat saying it's gray, not gray, you know, not G-R-E-Y, it's G-R-A-Y. Or if someone says, hey, is that Greg? You'll get 50 people in the chat that said, no, it's gray, not Greg. So are they all trolls for telling you that my name is actually gray, G-R-A-Y? No. Yeah, and then Gary, too. See, Gary. <laughs> Gary... <laughs> Gary Hug Hess. Yeah. Yeah. And there's just these little innuendo videos that people make. I'm not saying it's this person, but look at this. And look at this. And look at this 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 and look at and then by the time you're done, wow, that guy's guilty. Well, I never said he was. I was just threw out every single possible innuendo uh, in the history of mankind to associate with him. And uh, of course I'm not implying anything, but... Thanks, Raven. <laughs> You're the, you're the best, Gary Hughess. You're the best, Gary Correct. Hughes. Oh, my Correct. God. Ah. Kissing face with closed eyes. Kissing face with closed eyes. Sunset water wave. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Sure, mix a lot, right?
Hello, my friends. Oh, Jesus. Every time I hear that, I want to vomit. My God. Yeah. What'd you send me on? What'd you send me on, Stephanie? Uh, what'd you send me? Hopefully it's related to what we're talking about. Wouldn't that be cool? Gray, you are great. Smiling face with smiling eyes. Yeah. Let me see. I'll check my messenger. Hopefully it's related. Yeah. I don't have anything for me on messenger. Stephanie? Yeah, nothing on Messenger. Oh well. Yeah. Like it. Here's the thing: is I don't care. People can go make YouTube videos, and people can like whoever they like. All I ask is, can you try to be accurate and not put out innuendos on people? that are like 99.999% innocent and you're putting out stuff on people and it just really is not good, all right? It really is, I, I actually find it kind of disgusting, you know? I mean, all the people that took this sketch and put it side by side is some random Joe that lives in Delphi. If I went to Delphi right now, I mean, let's say I, this was two and a half years ago. I have a goatee. Um, you know, I'm a, about all, a little bit taller than the the range. I'm five eleven, but my God, man, if I just had a blue coat on and a jacket, boy, you'd all go, "Oh, look, Gray's. He's a suspect." I even got turned in just because I was making videos that seemed to be accurate. Isn't that a weird reason to be turned in? Wow, this guy's making accurate videos. Therefore, he knows too much. He must be the killer. We like the guys who make really inaccurate videos, and therefore they're not the killer. It's really strange mindset out there. Yeah. What was funny is I actually turned it around. That's that's sort of the cool part about the story is that somebody actually turned me in, put put something about me on the Delphi Facebook page, like as a suggestion of somebody to look at. So what I did was I went, oh wow! So I took my uh, my flow, my first flow theory video, and put it on there, and uh, they were like. Some one, some one of the officers saw it and went, "Wow, that's great!" and and gave it to um, the prosecutor, and then that's when he contacted me on Facebook. Then then I called his office, and we talked about possibly making something similar if there was a trial. Yeah, so it actually worked out in my benefit. Thank you very much for turning me in. Pfft. Idiots, Jesus. You know, one thing I've learned doing true crime in the last uh, two or three years, maybe, well, actually, it's been more like six, because even during the Jody Arias days, uh, there's just a, a lot of really dumb people out there, unfortunately. Um, just a lot. And they kind of gravitate towards each other, feed off. They feed off of each other. They realize, wow, man, I can say the craziest shit, and that person thinks it might be valid, so I love this place. So they all kind of congregate. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. Well, the lines are still open if anybody wants to call in. I'm probably going to get off of here in the next 15 minutes if people don't call in. It's I just wanted to 
show you guys this amazing image. Look at the screen right there. Look at that thing. I think this solved everything. All right, there you go. I think I definitely am going to frame some aspect of this shot here. Just as some kind of a reminder. Feel free to do the same if you want to screen grab it and do it. Oh, my head just hit the mic. Yeah, that's exactly right. True Crime Theater 4K. Yeah, a little, little ecosystem where they just keep feeding off of the same. It's just... If you go back and watch some of my early debunking videos, some of the stuff that I actually felt like I had to debunk because it was run, it was like wildfire. Some of these things that people would put out there, you know, one of the favorite ones is the face in the grain of wood. You know, what significance could that possibly have if you thought that there was a face in the grain of wood? You know, the word pareidolia uh, came to mind during all that time. That's actually when I learned what the hell that thing meant, that people's eyes tend to see things like uh, a human shape. You know when you're looking at your carpet sometimes and you glance over there and you see an actual face in the carpet that looks absolutely perfect, and then you look somewhere else and you look back and then it's gone. Face in the cloud, same thing. And, and, and the winner is always the first person. So you, there's a, a cloud that goes by and you say, oh, look, it's a beagle. Right? Well, oh, wait, hold on. I got, got calls. But look, it's a beagle. And then all of a sudden, everyone sees that beagle instead of seeing what they might have seen. That's how um, EVP readings work, too. They tell you what you're hearing. And then even though you don't really hear it, you go, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 250, you're on the air. Hey, great show, man. You do a good job. Hey, thanks. What's going on? Thanks thanks a lot. Who's this? Uh, I just have one question, and then if that's okay, I'll jump off the air. I got what's your name? kids with me. Oh, what's your name? Uh, Liam. Oh, Liam. Okay, Liam. cool. All right, nice. If you spell it wrong, it's lame. <laughs> well, I would have spelled L-I-A-M. That's how I would have spelled it. Yeah. <laughs> you nailed it. That's okay. right. Um, so over by that welfare building, mm -hmm. I asked it in the comments, but you didn't see it. Uh, could he have taken, a, potentially taken a right towards the, the, instead of going towards the highway, go right on what looks like a dirt road from the map and go over to 400 from there? Uh, you mean, so he's on 300 and then where would he take the right? <laughs> When he co instead of taking the left to go out and around onto the highway, say if oh, that's his uh -huh. escape plan, okay, yeah, he takes a right and goes past all those industrial buildings and, oh, and along a dirt road mm -hmm. until he hits Anderson and then four hundred, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Wait, uh, <laughs> I just don't. I don't know if there's a gate there or if there's access there. I was just curious. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater had a wife. I'm gonna touch. He loved to eat her. <laughs> Flicked her hard across the head. Okay, left her sorry. race and went to bed. Billy Boy Blue put a, one of the jokes in. All right, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. North 400. Just a second. Okay, so up here. Oh, on the 400. Like the North 400? Or is it the. You got it. Or is it West, west 400? Let's see. So maybe this is 400 up here. I, I don't know which one it is, but yeah, I mean, you could have gone anywhere, really. I mean, as soon as you got in the I'm car. I'm just curious if there's access that way. It, it kind of looks like it's a, a private property or something, and I just. I'm oh, curious. I see what you're saying. That's all. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's weird. It does kind of look like. I wonder if it would have problems over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like because there's railroad tracks over here so you're saying from there just drive a little bit closer instead of turning left that goes underneath the two freeway lanes 
you take a right yeah and then and then you go sort of in this loop and but it looks like if you drove all the way down by the the pro whatever this plant is or whatever you would actually it yeah. just it just ends there and then there's railroad tracks that you'd have to drive on to go somewhere else right. yeah so probably not i would huh. say so. all right well thanks a lot man i really enjoy your show hey thanks for calling in i had i had my own drama with <laughs> mv the other day he created a can a account with my name did he really Jesus. because i asked him a que- yeah i asked him a question and so woke up in the morning to one with the exact same name minus older oh, complimenting him <laughs> oh that's right that's right i saw that one that's hilarious i did see that one you have a different yeah, name man. though right on there yeah yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. He, he added an N. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, he made the same name and came back and said, "Yeah, man, I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't mean that." Yeah, it was ridiculous. I, it's uh, it's really good stuff now. Yeah, it's just wild. Like, who would think of doing something he's, like that? He's pointing fingers at hot dog guys now. Like, I know um, that that part drove me nuts when I saw that. I mean, he, he's like, yeah, I'm not suggesting anything, but he looks exactly like him. And what's he doing here yeah, serving yeah. a hot dog? I'm not saying it's him, but look at this. <sighs> I, I sent it into the FBI. I know I just did an interview with Doug Carter, and he told me what a bad tip is, so I just figured I would give a bad tip. Yeah. I got no name, no birth date, <laughs> no address, yeah. no motive, no evidence. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Click well. <laughs> Well, thanks for calling in, Liam. Not hey, lame, everybody. You. It's not lame. Hey. All right. All right have a... You can spell it however you want. <laughs> no. Have a good Peace one. Out. All right. See you. Bye. All right. 330, you're on the air. Hey, Gray. It's Brenda. <laughs> hey, Brenda. What's How are up? You? Hey, not too, not too bad. Um, so I really uh, like your. Uh, um, satellite picture I think that's really cool and just kind of speaks to your commitment about you know trying to help solve this crime or see what else you can see so thanks for doing that yeah no, it, I was so I was like oh I was so excited you know and it's still really cool but at the same time it's like if it just was Google Earth Clarity it would be insane what you might be able to find it just wasn't. well it would be really amazing it would really would be very amazing it's just uh but w- but it's amazing that there was even a shot of it at that time yeah it's so, incredible 12 12 58 right you're, yeah you're right in the time frame you know they're not there yet but you know he i bet you the killer is around you know the bridge guy is in the area i definitely th- i really think that he was there at that time i really do i think yeah. he was hunting yeah but um yeah i just really think that it's that it, and i i think that you were saying about this before but i just wonder if if you know the military or anybody can enhance these things or you know but i guess you know it's not possible from what you've been saying but yeah well the thing is is you can you can always change if you have the original image you can you can um try to change contrast and sometimes you can see extra things but when when you get people zooming in and then claiming they're seeing all these different things um, that's where unless it's you know you can zoom in if it's if you're not at a hundred percent yet so let's say this image was 8k yeah 80,000 pixels by 80,000 pixels and you zoom in and you're still it says like eight percent 16 and then as soon as you get to the point where you're at a hundred percent resolution when you zoom in you you, it might help you a little bit just kind of make something up but it you start getting pixelated everything starts getting it gets worse and worse and worse and then people start seeing things um i know you can yeah 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 yeah. you can enhance images obviously that's why there's image enhancement um but it's usually used to uh like let's say there's a like even in the Kanika Jenkins case, there were some of the images that they released from inside the freezer mm-hmm. of her, and yeah. they just look like black images. Hundred percent, just totally, absolutely black. There was nothing in the shot. So I took them into uh, 
Photoshop and I just started brightening it up, contrast, brighten, contrast, brighten, contrast. and eventually you actually see her laying on the ground. It was the, the flash didn't work and they took a picture of her there, but she's there, but just looking at it natively with your eye, you wouldn't have seen it. You just had to keep changing the right. contrast and eventually you see her really grainy, but you can definitely see her laying there. So, yeah, it's just a shame that, you know, even if a, if a car was parked, a lot of times people can kind of look at the shape of something and kind of tell what, you know, make or, you know, model a car is or something like that. You know, I know people that are like that, but, you know, it doesn't mm-hmm. seem like there's enough uh, detail to see anything like that. But yeah. the other thing I want to say, because, you know, I, I, I just feel like this case is so frustrating because nobody is recognizing this bridge guy. <laughs> Nobody yeah. recognizes the clothes he has on and everything like that. Well, so I think his I think his clothing is really to... recognizable. It's just everybody has it, you know. Like who doesn't have the blue well, windbreaker could... and the jeans and the you know? But I just wonder if he just doesn't really dress like that in real life. What if he's like could be. a salesman that usually right. wears khakis and a, a dress shirt or something? Right. You know, when you think about, well, what would a salesman be doing around that area? Well, it's Delphi, and it's a lot of farm area. Maybe he was a fertilizer salesman, or, you know, maybe he was in some kind of sales for chemicals for that pig place or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I wonder if they looked into anything like that, because, you know, it's like (laughs) nobody, you know, it doesn't seem like anybody has a clue, even with the pictures that they have of who this guy is or, you know, anything about him. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a good but point. He had I mean, to know he could have of that area. He could dress differently normally, and then that day, dress like that. And he looked pretty comfortable. The jeans look worn. Uh, so, but maybe he doesn't wear that jacket very often. Who knows, right? Maybe he doesn't normally do the hood thing. Yeah. So it makes it tough. But yeah, well, good point there. But but anyway, just uh, wanted to call in, so just. Uh, Throw out a few ideas out there. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks for Maybe calling. Maybe look in a different direction. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Brenda. All right. Thanks, thanks for talking. All right. All right. Okay, bye. bye. All right. 859, you're on the air. Good evening, Gray. Good evening. Who's this? This is Linda. Hey, Linda. How's it I going? I called in before, I think, to your paranormal thing, though. Oh, yeah? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to say, I, I got in late tonight. I, I got in on the pixelated image that you could actually make nothing out on. So uh, I appreciate you showing that. And uh, Well, you can just see that there's buildings and so forth. You just can't make out vehicles. <laughs> you know, it's a satellite image. You can't yeah. make out anything. All I saw when I got in was a oh, that thing. image. That oh, that thing. Nothing. Oh, that yeah, thing. You can, yeah, you can tell anything. <laughs> well, that was a joke. That was a joke but, that you were looking at. Uh, the, well, I, have a, I have a satellite image on the screen right point, now. A well-pointed joke. Yeah, yeah. Because of some of the things that have been made out. I just want to say um, I appreciate everything you're doing on this case. And I think when folks don't have an answer, um, they... Could you hold on one second? I don't mean to interrupt. Thing. I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, somebody just donated and it's going to talk over you. So I apologize. So hold I on one second. Fine. Okay, hold on one second. I Thanks, Barbara. And loyalty to the family. A second. You've been very respectful to them in spite of being so mean. <laughs> I hope there is justice for these girls soon. Let's find BG. That's right. Thanks, Barbara. She said, you're so mean. No, she said more than that, but it was nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Thanks, Barbara. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate I, I've seen people point fingers at the family. And one of the things I have difficulty with is figuring out how you personally judge when you think the people around the person are full of it or when they are telling the truth. Uh, my family yeah. was caught up in something. It was horrible. And I was accused of being a serial killer. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> 32 years I have put my nose to the grindstone. I've never done a thing wrong except speed. I do speed a little bit. Uh, but, but I quit, Gray. I quit. 
just <laughs> okay. You I mean you, you drive too fast, right? You don't want you, know? you, you drive too fast, well, right? Sometimes I did. Okay. I broke the law. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, say that but, you drive uh, too fast because people will say horrendous. people will think you're saying you take when, speed. So hey, you drove. You drive fast. Okay, no, no, I do not take drugs. I drive okay, too fast. You, you are okay. correct. <laughs> yes. But 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 the difficulty is, I mean, I cannot even imagine because it was not a family member that disappeared. We were just my son was a friend of the girl, and he was around her that night. So all the fingers got pointed. Everything it was just terrible. I learned then, don't trust what the news said. Don't even trust what the police say because they were putting out false information, and. The true story never comes out. I thought it would back then. I was an idiot. So I thought eventually they'll investigate and they'll figure out, you know, no, that doesn't happen. If the answer never comes, hopefully it will in this case, but if the answer never comes, the fingers continue to be pointed. And I cannot even imagine uh, being these girls' family and having the finger pointed at them when we actually have evidence that you have pointed out of timings of phone calls and everything. So mm -hmm. it, it's just terrible. And there's nothing you can personally do about it when you're caught up in that situation. But I really feel for these folks, and I really appreciate the effort that you put forth to say, now, wait a minute, here's the actual facts. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, the thing is, is I, I, I mean, um, I, I know what you're saying. There's some cases where the family member just immediately... Uh, pops out because you've got who was the last person to see them? Oh, well, it was so and so. They claim they dropped them off at their house and blah blah. blah. You know, it just seems like okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you see their well, behavior. What about the Arizona case? Because I could see that guy's what he said about a stop to take a, a photo. She walked back to the camper. She was wearing a bikini. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. She was on that remote highway. And if she, if he, what he said was true. And she got onto that highway, and she's not a bad-looking woman, even as old as she was, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm old, too, so I can say that. <laughs> so it could have happened. So how do you, because I saw how you judge that case, and I don't know how you figure out who can be believed and who can't, because I'm always like, well, I know I was telling the truth, and, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just from a, how do you? How do you pick that apart? I, I'm yeah. not very good at it, Gray. I must confess. I think you're much better at it than I am. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Sometimes I'm. I get. You know. Uh, I, I don't know what my percentage is, but a lot of times the people that I think are involved are, but uh, sometimes they're not, and you're like, whoa! You get totally. So it just shows that it's not a hundred percent. You know. Yeah. 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 Well, that's all I had to say. Well, thanks for calling in. I appreciate in. what you're doing. I, I yeah. enjoy watching. I'm sorry I missed the first part. Okay. Did you? Well, <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you ever see the actual satellite image that we do have that looks like? Uh, I mean, well, if you miss the first part, this is what what happened. Is that um, a, a while ago? Uh, Woods girl in the chat and me were looking for a satellite image. And we found one from February 17th, 2017, on a website. But then uh, she went back there recently, and she was just really excited and said, Oh, God, I figured it out. I figured it out. something out. I got rid of, I added four satellites that weren't in the original one. It, it just immediately takes them out for some reason. And there was an image from February 13th, 2017. <gasps> and we actually bought the wow. satellite image for... I think it was four it cost 450 bucks and we're looking at it right now it's on the screen and it actually it does you know it shows the van and cps building and it was taken at 12 58 p.m which is 39 minutes before the girls wow. were, were dropped off at the bridge so that's crazy right oh i will go back and watch what i missed then yeah, yeah i can see what yeah. you have on the yeah that was just a goof i was what i what you saw was me mimicking people like harvey carroll who Take, uh, they'll yeah. take what I have on the screen, um, do a screen grab, bring it into Photoshop, zoom in on it, and, and come up with all kinds of crazy shapes that they can claim is something. Right? But anyways, yeah, yeah. That was, I was just joking around at that point. But uh, there you go. 
Go look at that. So get uh, off. Well, it, well thanks the, a lot. I'll, I'll go back and look at it. Thanks a lot. That's a, that's absolutely awesome. And I have it on the screen right now. So, so you if, you, if, you, if you hang yeah, up and I'm go back to the video. It, okay. Yeah, I'm on a tablet. So oh, good. I've okay. got a Zoom. I've got oh, to good. I've got a Zoom here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks. thanks a lot, Gray. Have a great evening. You too. Bye. Bye. There was somebody else that uh, that was the last call there, but somebody else called in. If you want to call back really quick, you hung up during the during it. Yeah, yeah, it costs, it's a satellite image. Yeah. Yep. I think it's totally worth it, to be honest with you. I think it's worth it to have this image. That this shot right here is right around that time, and who knows what. I, I don't know if there's much you can do to pull out. I know that you can see uh, there's a semi-truck there, probably there, but the vehicles are absolutely tiny. And as a matter of fact, uh, I was showing this earlier. If you zoom out on to about like, let me get rid of all the uh, marks. Hold on. So it's about like this. That's about what you're looking at. And this one's even clearer. You can see the bridge better. The CPS building is right there. It's probably more like about like that, right like that. So you can see the CPS building there. Now I can see individual cars down here. Those little tiny black dots are cars. So right there, if I zoom in, watch this. Those are how little the cars are. So if you're out looking at a satellite image from this distance, you can barely make them out. And if, there's, if it's blurry at all, meaning not even as clear as this one, then you probably can't even see them at all on the road. You can see semi trucks, however. I think that's probably a semi right there. Yep, see? Okay, so that's it. I thought it was totally worth it. Um, I, it would have been a lot more worth it, like, wow, this is incredible, if it was clear I think the time of day is fine if you're trying to figure out if the car was parked at the CPS building. That's kind of the whole point of this. Now, if we were able to get the 20 centimeter deal, you could probably see people standing on the bridge. Well, that's okay. I saw that one, Billy Boy Blue. Yeah, just a little, little much. Just the standard Ender Dice Clay ones are good, all right? But thank you. I think I posted a clay poem that went too far, lol, made your peeps mad. Everybody I'll loves... i try to be nicer <laughs> in the future. Everybody loves Billy Boy Blue, all right? All right, everybody. I think that is going to be it for the show tonight. I uh, really appreciate everybody showing up. Uh, where do you want to do the flyby? I usually end up going somewhere I want to go. but <laughs> Yeah, I hope it... Uh, I did send it to Holman. I sent him the raw 333 megabyte file. Maybe they have different techniques that they use over there. I'm just showing you what I did with it. I think Mount Rushmore is a 3D model. Towards the 450, I appreciate the effort. Woods Girl and Gray. I definitely feel this may help. Yeah, Delphi doesn't really have a lot of terrain, like uh, mountains or anything. This is just sort of, the flyby section is more for just kind of winding down. Okay, so thank you to Kelly Franks, Kit Kat, Wombat Dundee, uh, Alicia Supertramp, Nenny C, Nenny C again, Tracy Harrison, Sean Beecham, Billy Boy Blue with his first joke, uh, Billy Boy Blue with his second joke. <laughs> First one was Old Mother Hubbard, then Little Miss Muffet, then uh, Cairo Al Qadir, who didn't need to <laughs> send that in. He already sent the 200 in. Um, Alicia Supertramp, Raven 187, 
Kit Kat, Billy Boy Blue, again, with the joke that got him in trouble. Then Lisa Wilkerson, Barbara Gordon, and Billy Boy Blue. Again, Curious George, and it looks like a, a Stream Labs just came in to PayPal. So let me get to that one. Here's another one for Billy Boy. Jack and Jill went up the hill to have some hanky panky. <laughs> Silly Jill forgot her pill, and now there's little Frankie. <laughs> hey, I like that one. Uh, that's not that's a, like a, a clean um, nursery rhyme, right? All right, so thank you to Gail Howell on uh, PayPal, and then also, wow, uh, let's see, a few of them on here. Uh, Diane Williams, Kristen Cure, who called in, uh, Glenda Goins, Alexander Cronin, Scott, and uh, Amanda Belg. So thank you guys very much on there. Very, very cool. Yeah, that should make a big dent back into the, the balance of the uh, of that. I wonder if I'll, I could put the... Well, it's too big to put into Patreon freaks. I mean, it's 333 megabytes, the image. Patagonia? What's that look like? Oh. <laughs> uh, where, what uh, country is that in? Or where is that? Because it's going to a Patagonia in Portland. Since I live there. Oh my god, he said where he lived! Oh! Well, if you don't know where I live, that means you haven't watched the show. All right. Where is Patagonia? Isn't that just a... Ah, forget it. I don't know. No, everybody likes Billy Boy Blue. Oh, well, see, look at that. That sucks. You guys made Billy Boy Blue feel bad. I, I, I thought his jokes were kind of funny. Maybe that one was a little bit, you know, extra. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to, like, hide his comments, though. See, I don't mind. If somebody says the F word and all that, you don't need to block Full it. Moon okay? tonight. Happy Friday. I'm not, the I don't care freaks. if somebody types that in. If they say F this and F that, you know, and who cares? You know, if they say something that, uh, you know, racist, something like that, then that, uh, yeah, there you go. Then, you know, get rid of them. Okay, because we, we don't need any of that here. But if they're just cussing and that kind of thing, don't worry about it. All right. I mean, Billy, the joke Billy Boy Blue put out was, you know, had the little part at the end there, but it's like he wasn't really, I don't know, didn't seem like he was trashing anybody. It was just a joke. It was, yeah, but now he said he won't be back. Hopefully he comes back. Sorry, Bill, Billy Boy Blue.
Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, now I'm bummed. I was like Billy Boy. See, Billy Boy Blue wasn't here for a while, and I was like, "Oh, where the hell's Billy Boy Blue?" Because he was funny. Now he says he's not going. Now he's leaving. That sucks. Oh well. I guess that's just the way it is. So this is Patagonia right here. This looks kind of flat. So we could try going around here or something like that. Sorry, I'm just closing things up. See if it'll run better. Well, it's up to you guys. You guys are gonna have to go get a hold of that guy and tell him. Billy Boy Blue. Yeah. I'm just reading comments right now. Yeah, the Andes. Yeah. It's kind of cool looking. All right. Is this, these are them, right? Where the hell are the big ones? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty big too. The Andes, right? How about... like they put two different maps together here because I doubt in nature you'd get that perfect of a straight line in the ice.
Hey, global warming. Look at that. 
on the screen, but uh, there you go. Thank you for showing up tonight, and as I always say, until next time, be safe out there.